Hey everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions with this week's Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. Now you may have noticed that in Remote Desktop Manager, the view password option is disabled for non-admin users. Now it's set this way by default for security purposes. Now there may be a reason why you want to grant access to a specific user to be able to view password or even edit permissions. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's check out my screen. So now I'm logged in as Maurice here in my Remote Desktop Manager. The account in question I want to take a look at is this Facebook corporate. I have a user named Ellen who needs access to be able to change and even view the password. So in order to give her that access, I'm going to go into the properties and here I'm going to select permissions. In the top right, you'll see this grant access button. This batch grant access window will pop up and I'm going to go ahead and select Ellen and I want her to be able to edit and view passwords. So I'm going to double click her and now she's added as a custom user here. She has access to edit and she has access to view password. Now I'm going to do something extra as well because as an admin, I want to know why she's viewing the password. So here in the logs, I click on this and I'm going to say prompt for comment on credential viewed. Select that box and click OK. Now I'm going to switch over to Ellen. And now if Ellen logged in, she would see this. Now, for example, here's the Google Plus, which she has no access to view password or properties. But in the Facebook corporate, you can see here now she can view password. She can actually go into the properties. Let's say she now has to update the password. So I'm going to use the handy dandy password generator and generate a brand new password. And then she's going to view it just because. Now there's a comment box opened asking her why she needs to view the password. That's what Ellen would write. Okay, so the password has been changed and she has access to be able to view password and edit entries as well. Now, as you can see in Remote Desktop Manager, it's very easy to give granular controls depending on users and roles and your security policies. Now, if you find these videos interesting, make sure you like and comment below. This lets our team know to continue making videos just like these ones. Thanks and have a great rest of your week.